Ahmed Murid Patayo, who's in Florida. He's the former senior national representative of Afghanistan to the U.S. General Command. Thanks very much for your time there, Ahmad. Uh, now, firstly, do these documents, do you think, confirm what experts and human rights organisations have been saying for all these years now? How much was previously known, do you think? I, I think it was uh, known in, in military circles from the beginning of the war that the situation in Afghanistan is complex and uh, we need a, a political strategy than uh, instead of a military strategy. So this was clear from the very beginning. Uh, but um, from the Afghan perspective, when I was uh, in the government and serving in the Afghan military, you know, uh, alongside the U.S. forces, both uh, in Afghanistan and also as the senior rep at CENCOM. Uh, from our perspective, uh, there was a lot of progress at the same time. Uh, you know, success uh, uh, made during those years, especially from uh, 2009 onward. Uh, the trajectory of the war was changed uh, for the better. Uh, most of the country was clear out of the insurgents. And uh, as I mentioned, so what was missing was a clear political strategy to get the politics of the country right. Uh, so that was the uh, that was the big challenge. I don't think that the military component was as uh, a major challenge as the politics uh, was. And I mean, 2,400 Americans died in Afghanistan, yet there isn't the outrage we would expect perhaps elsewhere when a war has lasted this long. Why do you think that is? Well, as I mentioned, it was, uh, it was a war which, uh, which uh, the situation was complex, no doubt about it. Uh, and uh, that's why these courageous you know, men and women from the U.S. military lost their lives along with thousands of Afghans, uh, thousands of courageous Afghan men and women uh, fighting uh, from the ANDC, ANDSF, Afghan National Security Forces, have been fighting uh, tenaciously uh, since 2001. Uh, as uh, as um, your audience are aware, Afghanistan, due to its strategic location in a crossroad, you know, it's not only the Taliban who are uh, who remain the primary challenge, but there are other uh, insurgents and extremist groups, terrorist groups, uh, approximately 20 of them uh, active in this region. Uh, so that makes the situation very complex and uh, up to uh, uh, now uh, that, uh, that uh, unfortunately the, the war has been uh, dragging on. OK, Ahmed, we'll leave it there for the time being. Thank you very much for your time. Ahmad Murid Pato in Florida for us there.